I think something we can all relate to is comfortable shoes or the lack of being able to find them. And I think that is especially true with bicycle touring. Um, as you can see, we do a lot of off the bike and uh, comfortable shoes are very important. And the bulk of touring is done during uh, the hot summer too. So having shoes that are well ventilated is also very important. So those of you that have watched the channel know that last year I was using the uh, 510 Kestrel Boa. Pro, um, good shoe, but there was some problems I had with that. So I thought I'd come out today, talk to you about the new shoe I'm gonna be wearing, which is the Giro Gauge. Um, I've used a lot of their products, gloves, helmet. Uh, the Giro Montero is my helmet. So I've used a lot of their products and I've really liked it all. So um, let's talk today about the Giro Gauge shoe. All right, as you saw, I came out here today to talk to you guys about the new shoes I'm gonna be wearing. Although in another video, some of you may, may have heard me say that I was not gonna get new shoes because the 510 Kestrel Pros that I've been wearing are in such good shape that I couldn't justify replacing them. But having said that, we already had some warm weather this summer in Windsor, really hot weather. And the 510s were, are just too hot. They don't have the proper ventilation. I mean, you can pretty much see from looking at them that they're not well ventilated. And I knew that might be an issue going forward. Uh, I had heard some negative comments about them not being too comfortable for walking, which they're not the greatest. Um, they're very stiff and not breathable and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I guess they're not great for walking. That's not a huge uh, dis detraction as far as the shoe goes for me because I'm more concerned with how they are while I'm riding, right? But it is important though, because like I said on the way in, when you're touring, um, you're off the bike a lot, whether it's hike a bike, going into stores, at camp, whatever. So being able to walk somewhat comfortably or comfortably is very important. So um, I was just, like I said, going to keep the 510s, but I was at the shop one day and I was just looking uh, on uh, Giro's uh, website and I was looking at their, I guess you would say, not more casual shoes, but um, less XC, um, a little more ventilation than the 510s had. And when I saw the Giro gauge, I just thought it might be a good shoe. Um, so not having not been able to put my hands on it because they didn't have it at the shop, I took a chance and I ordered it in. Um, I'm not gonna get into the price and the specs. I will put all the specs on the screen right now so you can see all that. But as far as the price goes, I got it at the shop. I got a good deal. So I will put a link to their website and you can source out the shoe from there. But as you can see specs wise, it's a light shoe. It comes in at, I believe, 409 grams. You can see all the material construction. It's made out of really good stuff. The best way I can describe the shoe is it's almost like a trail running shoe for cycling. I forgot to mention, I do ride clipped in, uh, Shimano pedals, SPD cleats. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, if you are considering riding clipped in, I would give it a shot. I really would recommend it. Um, having said that, if you do get uh, if you do start riding Clipton, try and focus on using the pedals to your advantage. A lot of people get them and they never use it to full advantage. A lot of videos out there whether SPD cleats actually do add any type of advantage or not. I know they do because sometimes when I get tired I will concentrate on less on pushing and more on pulling up with the shoe Clipton, right? So I do believe there's benefits if you are riding properly with them. So. Like I said, um, for me, it was more just a matter of, I just do not want to be sweating in my shoes while I'm riding, out touring. Sorry, loud crash, probably just a deer or something. That would be my guess. Anyways, let's get back to it. Um, so um, I did order this shoe in, I've got them, I got them in and I've had them for about three weeks. And I'll say, I really do like them a lot. Um, when I'm riding, I can feel the air flowing through them, which is so nice. Um, get home, socks aren't all wet from sweating. And the nice thing about them too is I can get off the bike and I can walk and they feel, like I said, like a trail running shoe, pretty much. Walking on uh, any hard surface in stores than that, they make a lot less noise, which is a huge, a huge advantage. Um, they're probably not as stiff as the 510, and other shoes I've worn in the past. I'm more used to have a carbon shank on the sole. These ones just have a really stiff nylon infused uh, shank. So a little more flex, which is what lends to the more comfortable walking shoe as well. So 
Um, you always gotta, I guess, have a little give and take when it comes to stuff like this. When it comes to uh, matters of comfort, it's hard for these companies to get it right for everybody, right? Shoes are so, we all have such different feet. For me, due to uh, my accident in 2010 where I broke my back, I also messed my left foot up. So I almost find it impossible to find a shoe that fits my left foot really good. One thing I will say I noticed about these Euro gauges is that they do tend to run a little narrow in the mid part of the shoe. Um, so if you have really wide feet, you might find them a little narrow. Um, I only notice in my left foot, like I said, because I have the issues with my foot, right foot, no issues whatsoever with the width. So that might just be a me thing. But um, yeah, I'm not going to take too long in this video. I just wanted to come out and mention the new shoe. I know a lot of people are always looking for different gear. The gear is expensive. So, you know, having someone that's using them, given some real, real world experience and thoughts on them, I always find it really beneficial. I know before I buy almost any piece of gear, I'm looking online, I'm looking on YouTube, watching different videos, seeing what people are thinking about them. And if nothing else, seeing what the product looks like in use, um, if they hold up, durability and stuff like that. So another big difference in the shoes that I also should mention that's very important is that I've gone to a lace-up shoe, um, which might surprise some people, but I have nothing against the BOA. I really like it, very durable. I've never had one fail on me. But the issue I have is being able to get it really comfortable. I find it's either a little too tight or a little too loose. The nice thing about the laces in my experiences from hockey skates is that you can kind of get a little more custom fit. What I like to do is get the shoe on, kind of move my foot around, get it settled in nicely, and then just snug the laces in. Um, of course, laces aren't gonna be for everybody. Some people are just looking for that quick stuff, but I don't find it takes that much longer to do the laces. So yes, laces as opposed to boa, um, obviously there's going to be no issues with durability of the lace-up shoe, so there's not going to be a failure there. But yeah, I just wanted to mention um, that is a big difference that this is a lace-up shoe instead of one that's a uh, uh, Velcro closure and then the bow is the main way of tightening the shoe. So I will keep you guys posted on that going through the season, um, probably do a, another uh, update on the shoe probably in about a month, month and a half after I've really used it. I'm going to be heading out on the road pretty soon. Um, next week actually. I'm not going to get into that too much. My next video is going to be a uh, what's in my bag video. So I'm going to kind of go through everything that I'm going to be carrying with me. I'm probably going to be out on the road for a month and a half to maybe two months. So very extended and I'm going to go through everything that's in my bags and uh, why I'm bringing them. Um, things that I've used for a long time I will also mention so that you guys know that it's something that it's go-to for me. I've used it a long time and you guys can count on it as well. So stay tuned for that. All right. So I hope you guys are all getting out there and doing something you love, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.